everyone welcome back to my channel hope you all are well and I hope you all are doing great um, as I can see from my previous pregnancy videos you guys have been requesting different things um, I've, I've seen a lot of comments about more pregnancy content and I will be delivering on that okay so I'm going to focus more on pregnancy videos motherhood product reviews and you know things like that from now on on my channel so if that's the kind of content you love watching i hope you will stick around please do not forget to like this video comment down below and also subscribe to my channel so before we start the video i'm going to give out this disclaimer to say that i am not a doctor i'm not a nurse i'm not a midwife i am not a medical practitioner at all i'm just a mom of two sharing my research research and also my experiences about pregnancy for you guys to you know just be in the know so for today's video I'm going to share 16 yes you heard it right 16 signs that you are having a boy or a girl so yes if you're watching this video and you're pregnant congratulations like big 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 congratulations i'm so happy for you and i hope you're excited about the journey that you are embarking on um and also if you haven't had your ultrasound yet um then this is just the video for you because i'm very sure you are curious to know if you're having a boy or a girl and if you are not pregnant but you're trying to conceive you can also you know gain a few things from this video as well so the first sign is your hcg hormone levels right so when you're pregnant your hcg hormone levels are usually high than when you're not pregnant but um it has been scientifically proven that it's usually higher for girl pregnancies and slightly lower for boy pregnancies. So if your HCG levels are higher, you might be having a girl, but if it's slightly lower, then you might be having a boy. Need I remind you, everybody is different, every mom is different and every baby is different. So there might be exceptions. I just thought I should throw that in there. So tip number two is mood swings. So if you feel moody or, you know, hormonal and you just don't feel up for anything really, you might be having a girl. But um, if you feel, you know, laid back, relaxed, chilled, you know, happy and just you know, going with the flow, basically, you might be having a boy. So, yeah, of course, there are exceptions in all of these. There are exceptions. So it could be different for you. I personally think I <laughs> I was I had mixed moods, really, depending on the day. I've got two kids, a girl and a boy, and I'm going to share my own experience, you know, after having a girl baby and a boy baby. So, so with regards to mood swings, I think it was pretty much the same for my two pregnancies because some days I was moody and then some days I was pretty much chilled, relaxed and, you know, just laid back basically so yeah it could be different for you so sign number three is morning sickness so most times most pregnant women get morning sickness i experienced morning sickness as well but some people claim they do not experience it kudos to you you're a lucky one you know <laughs> so morning sickness is you know related to the increase in your hormone levels so if you have a higher hormone level you have more morning sickness so the more morning sickness you have um, or rather the severe morning sickness you have you could be having a girl and then if you're experiencing little to none at all then you could be having a boy so personally, for me, um, I had morning sickness for both kids, especially in the first trimester. That was when I experienced, you know, morning sickness and all of that. So it was pretty much the same. I feel like my two pregnancies were the same. I had, you know, the same mood swings and then the same morning sickness. Sign number four is that boy babies are typically like larger than girl babies um, and I I did experience that because you know after the whole pregnancy and all of that when I weighed my son and 
my daughter my son weighed more than my daughter you know a bit more just slightly more and also he was you know quite taller than her just a little bit maybe like an inch taller than her even but yeah boy babies weigh more than girl babies. when i was pregnant my bump was you know slightly larger than when i was pregnant for my daughter again it might be due to the fact that it was my second pregnancy and so of course my, the muscles of my tummy had expanded before so maybe that is why my tummy was you know a bit larger the second time around so these are like old wives tales but um of course you need to see a doctor to confirm any of this i'm just you know giving you guys you know just the general signs that people say indicate a boy or a girl but they're not meant to be like you know the hard or fast rule they're just you know just for fun really just for fun <laughs> just for fun sign number five is your pregnancy glow so if you have that pregnancy glow you might be having a boy but if you do not have any pregnancy glow and you're having like acne pimples everywhere on your face and you're just looking like a right mess um, you might be having a girl because the old wife still claims that if you're having a girl the girl somehow manages to take your beauty away but that is not true that is not to say that your 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 daughter is taking your beauty away no it's just all for fun okay um but yeah this could also be due to the increase in your hormone levels that you are already experiencing okay so relax 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 okay it's not your baby girl stealing your your glow <laughs> you're beautiful darling okay so yeah so have you had a look at some pregnant women and thought oh they're carrying so high or they're carrying so low well if a pregnant woman is carrying so high it could be a sign of a girl and if she's carrying so low it could be a sign of a boy and also if your pregnancy is low and then it's sticking out so far it could be a sign of a boy but if your pregnancy is high and a bit smaller it could be a sign of a girl so sign number eight is your linear negra so your linear negra is that um line that goes on your tummy it only shows when you're pregnant when your you know your bump is you know defined bigger that's when the linear negra shows um it's just a brown line i'm sure you know you might have seen it on your body or on someone else's body or even on the internet as well so it is said that if your linea negra goes southwards down you know below your belly button then it is a sign that you're having a girl but if it goes up then it is a sign that you're having a boy um for my own experience i just had you know a, my linea negra was just visible and it was from up to down so i can't even you know tell you guys anything about this one because both pregnancies for my boy and for my girl i had a visibly defined um linear negra so oh. sign number nine is if your baby daddy has put on some weight so if they've put on some weight it's a sign that you could be having a girl and if you know they remain the same or even have lost weight it could be a sign that you're having a boy Sign number 10 is your hair growth. So if your hair is growing and you know just blossoming and longer, thicker, you're just shining, glowing, you might be having a boy. This is also related to your pregnancy glow as well. So if your hair is growing and doing so well, you might be having a boy. And if your hair is not growing and it's just the same, really no difference, maybe it's even shedding, uh, you might be having a girl. I did experience the same thing for my two pregnancies. Um, when I was pregnant for my girl, my hair was growing, it was doing so well. I had longer hair, like I was even like, even the hair, my hairstylist was telling me my hair was thicker, longer, and it just looked so lush. Um, and the same thing happened as well when I had my, when I was pregnant for my boy as well. So this one, there, there are exceptional cases. So it just depends and as i said before everyone is different so it might be different for you you might experience you know the same thing i experienced or even not 
Sign number 11 is for you to drink more water because when you're pregnant, you're going to be dehydrated. So it's best for you to drink more water. If your urine color is dull yellow, it's a sign that you might be having a girl. And if your urine color is bright yellow, then you might be having a boy. So sign number 12 is for you to look at your baby's ultrasound and look at the size of your baby's forehead. Now, if your baby's forehead is slightly bigger, it could be a sign that you're having a boy. And um, if your baby's forehead is slightly smaller, it could be a sign that you're having a girl. But this one is pretty tricky because you can't really know if your baby's gonna have a big forehead really from the pictures because I feel like every fetus has the same forehead even. From my experience, I feel like my babies have big foreheads in their ultrasound pictures. So I can't really say if this is valid or not because my babies had like big foreheads and uh, yeah, but have a look at your one. Do you think it's bigger? Do you think it's smaller? You might, you know, see the signs, the little signs that you might be having a girl or a boy. Sign number 13 is if you're clumsy, you're having a girl. And if you're not clumsy, if you're feeling stronger and energetic, you might be having a boy. Sign number 14 is to take a pupil test. Now, you could look into a mirror and see if you're eyes are dilating um if they are you might be having a boy but if they remain the same you might be having a girl i wouldn't bank on this one because there are some factors that affect you know your eyes and how they dilate especially lighting so if you're out in the daylight your eyes might just be pretty much the same but then if you're in a dark place then your eyes might start to dilate and stuff like that or however it works really so i wouldn't really bank on this one but for just for fun you could try it out and see if your eyes are dilating you might be having a boy but if it's the same then it's a girl sign number 15 is to take a garlic test ew i never tried this one and i don't think i would ever even want to consider it but if you're up for it and you love garlic then go for it then um so this one basically all you need to do is eat up a bunch of garlic if you stink which i feel like you will anyway if you eat loads and loads of garlic then you're having a boy but if you do not smell of garlic then it's a girl but, oh my goodness i wouldn't want to be in a room with you eating up garlic that's just gross that is just gross <laughs> but yeah you could try this out and let's know actually if you if you do try this out please let me know down in the comments below i really want to know if this actually works so the last and final sign is sign number 16 and this one is a bit witchy <laughs> does it even work i've never tried this one but i thought i should throw it in here this one is also part of the old wife's tale so basically you get a strand of your hair tie it to a ring if you're pregnant have someone else do this for you so basically you lie down and the person is going to like hold the strand of your hair and the ring and then you know dangle it on your bump so if it goes round in circles that means you're having a girl but if it goes sideways then it means that you're having a boy so yeah if you do try this out let me know down in the comments because <laughs> That is like next level. So yeah, that is it for my 16 signs um, that you could be having a boy or a girl. Let me know in the comments down below your experiences. Did you experience any of these or did someone else that you know experience any of these? And if you try any of you know the 16 signs that I've mentioned, let me know in the comments. So yeah, um, if you have enjoyed this video, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure that you check out my other pregnancy related videos. I've got a bunch for you, you know, how to get pregnant fast, how to know if you're having a boy or a girl. I've got a few videos on pregnancy and I'm going to be creating more videos on pregnancy. So yes, I want to see you in the next one. So make sure you like, comment and subscribe to my channel.